Hello, YouTube. I'm totally not wearing old glasses. Oh my god, these are my old glasses, dude. I found them. They're cute though, and I don't love them, but they're old. So, we're gonna do things my teacher said during online school in eighth grade. Let's get started. So, let's start in order with reading. <laughs> So with reading, sorry, I'm doing my head at the same time. Reading teacher. Every time we join her Zooms, to be like, how's your day going? And where's your brother at? And and what do you guys have for lunch? And did you guys finish the home? Did you guys finish the work? And did you guys watch the videos and stuff? And like, what you guys doing for the weekend? And how is your classes going? What did, how are your grades? Like, that was what my reading teacher would basically say in a zoom call during our time social studies the social studies teacher would basically say when i would get on her zoom she would say did you guys do um did you guys do uh the um did you guys do the lessons um, did you guys do the lessons? Did you guys watch this videos for Teen and Ten? Which that's what we watched. How's your guys' day going? Things like that. Can you guys hear me? Cause like, yeah. Um, and yeah, we had discussion talks for Teen and Ten, things like that. Um, science. So I would join his Zooms and he, he would ask, are you guys having trouble with any of the work? Do you guys need help on the work? He would tell us like that we need to get the work done and stuff like that. Um, I really forget what science said. I literally totally didn't forget what science said. Um, for what was that the science? I forget what was that the science. It wasn't reading. I I just said reading. Math. I think math was yeah. Math was after science. So then we have the math teacher and she's like, do you guys need help? Um, make sure you guys check in to get participation points. Uh, she would always ask me, do you guys need help? Like, does anyone need help? Things like that. Um, like, um, like struggling wise, anything. What problem are you stuck on? How's your day going? What are your plans for the week? Like things like that. Simple, basic stuff. Language arts. <laughs> so, language arts. The teacher would usually say, how, like, I would basically be the first one in now. If you guys think, oh, going to Zoom, first one in is awkward. I, yes. I, I, you guys, the, the people that say that stuff are not lying. It was, it's pretty is. So sometimes I would be the first one in. And I'm just going to tell you a story about, um, language arts that I had, but let's just get into what the teacher would say. What, how, she, like, she would basically ask, like, things, like, we were talking about cats, dogs, like, we talked about what we liked or things like that. So I brought up stuff and we were just, everyone was talking. And then she would, and then this is when it was just me and her. And um, no one else, and because I was working on the work, she's like, I'll leave you be, I'll let you keep working, just ask me if you need help. And then she'll always ask, how's your day going? What are you working on? Stuff like that, are you keeping up with your work? Do you have any other work for the classes to do since I would finish her work? She, and it would be Monday, she'd be like, oh, you don't have to work yet? Cause like, I'm like always usually don't have to work. Easy, pretty simple. Um, she would send emails back for feedback for what you need to fix on and things like that. So, yeah. Um, we just, like I said, we always had conversations about what we might, like, like, we were just having conversations about things that we, like, like to do or things like that. The last day, the last day, I think it was the last day of online schooling. I had to leave the Zoom really, um, like, it was for writing because that was like the only thing I had to do. That was the only thing I had. And it was just if you wanted to join, I had to option only join. If you need help, you can join in. I didn't really need the help. I just felt like joining because you know. So, I was 
Yeah, I had a Wii and it was, it's pretty, when you, when it's the last day of school, it was pretty, yeah. Um, after that was my second math class I had. I told you my first one. My second math class, teacher would ask, oh, how's your guys' day going? Do you guys need any help? She would go over what we know, like, what we need to know for the week and stuff. She would tell us what to do and what we need to catch up on. Um... We always talked about things like, cause we were doing this food thing, food thing, and we talked about food and stuff, and we had PowerPoints and we were discussing. So basically, a lot of talking. I missed her Zoom once, I think it was, but yeah, that was once. The last but not least class I think I had at the end, seven period, was um, PE. I think I said the classes right in order because the last one I had was um, PE. It was PE and we had workouts and stuff. Of course I did the workouts. I did the workouts. I tried to fill out the logs. Got all A's at the end of the thing, you know. Um, so going on to my other thing, we had award ceremonies. And I was sitting there because we had to have our mics and cameras off. I was sitting there like... I was sitting there like, oh, am I going to get called? Am I going to get one? Because they said I got one. I got the invitation. I got one. So I'm going to get called. I got called for the one for my second math class, which is sixth period. So, yeah. I got called for that. And I'm like, um, okay. I was excited. <laughs> then I got called for writing. Obviously, my writing awards. I have like three of them <laughs> i don't know if i have them for fifth grade i know i have them for sixth grade seventh grade and eighth grade so yeah now let's go into the thing i want to tell you story i wanted to really just talk to you guys about real fast um i wasn't my great so on the writing thing i did um i got it was a, like a senior letter now no not senior letter for high school thing like i was in eighth grade this was senior letters for like senior facility like senior less for seniors that live in senior facilities or whatever you call those places and i had got a like a i think it was an 80 i know i had like i think i forget what it was it was like i think i got like an 80 i forget but it was like a a B on both of them maybe I don't know but I had a B in one of it was either a rough draft or final copy and I got a B on it it was the final copy I think or yeah and I didn't like it and I asked her if she could change it she said she'll look over it because it brought my grade down hold on I was I was I got an A twice in their class at the beginning of the year like fourth quarter and then in fourth quarter now my grade went down to an A to an A to a B it went it was just yeah fourth quarter was a mess but Yes, I asked her if she could change it, and she wanted to, she she told me her grade, and I said I got a question about it. I just, I had a question about my grade and about the report cards, so yeah, and then, you know, the private Zoom thing, um, I would join her Zoom early sometimes to, like, get help, because, you know, I need, that's what you need, help, and yeah. So before any of this, I joined, we had a Zoom together, so yeah, like before she actually did it with every class, so. And I've joined like every Zoom, so like besides math, besides my first math class, I didn't join really any Zooms. <laughs> Cause it would overlap into language arts. And I'm like, no, language arts is like one of my favorite subjects. Math, I'm sorry. Math is iffy for me. And right now I'm struggling in math. Right now I'm struggling in math, social studies, and kind of science. But, because those aren't my subjects I really like. My favorite subject is language arts and will always be like the writing dude. Writing is just something that I love to do. And not many people notice that. Like everyone's like, oh, writing. I don't like writing. Oh, and the teacher's like, I know you guys don't like to write and everything. And I'm like, I hate when people say that like, some people like writing like our show, short story that we did in my readings class writing class 
she told me I couldn't go ahead. I already did the rough draft and final draft before everyone, basically. And then today I wrote on a nice piece of paper that she gave us for Halloween because it was Halloween short story. And I did it in a whole period. Four paragraphs in a whole period. Yes, I can do that. Like, it's crazy, but it's what. Yeah, so when I hear that, oh, people don't like writing, oh, uh, oh, I don't like writing, oh, I don't really want to take notes. Stop been complaining, people. You're on, like, middle school, high school. You need to, this is what you're doing. This is, now, people ask, oh, why do you like writing? I have got asked this many times because, first, you can express your feelings and emotions, like, legit. You can, I have a paper about that I did. I was doing writing for a paper and yeah that i named it writing like it was the topic was writing yes i know i was writing but i was also talking about writing <laughs> i don't know it's pretty weird but yeah I'm, so people just said why do you like writing i said because it just expresses your emotions and feelings and you can get it out there and that's what i always do i'm afraid to tell someone something i'm afraid to tell someone my feelings so i write it out I had to do, and I had to say all my feelings in eighth grade before we went on to online schooling. I was getting hated on and people just being rude to me. It was just a whole thing at school. I was put into things that I wasn't supposed to be and things that affected my life and things that, you know. So, basically, I had to express my feelings. Yes, I was scared to tell people what was going on with me. I was. I didn't want no one really to know, but... When people found out, I was, and one day, one day, I teardrop. I just, like, I never really cried in school, and that one day, it was fifth period, language arts. I cried. I couldn't really, like, I just cried that one day. It was to the point where someone spread a rumor about me and things like that. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it in anymore. Everyone asked me if I was fine. I said, yeah, I was. And then when the teacher started, I wasn't fine. It's when we had a talk. Obviously, I'm okay, guys, now. That's all over with. That was in eighth grade. I'm in ninth grade. Just letting you know, high school counts. I wasn't, I'm not, I wasn't, it's second quarter now. In first quarter, I wasn't doing good. I got four C's, two, two A's, and a B, and it wasn't good. So my C was in, my first C was in, langu my first C was in language arts. Yes, I get A's and B's in language arts, but I have a C, a C. I had a C and I'm like, P people, I'm disappointed in myself. Like, I'm disappointed. I don't know how, but we don't really do much writing in language arts at my school. We do it like on the computer and I'm like, you need to learn how to write. Like, come on. It's like, yeah, but. Um, basically, language arts, I had a 78C. Math, I had a 72C. Science, it went to 73C, 73C to 72C because apparently I wasn't participating in class when I was, which was stupid, but it went down to 72C. And in social studies, I had a 78C. Then I had an A in learning studies, an A in art class, and then I had a B in reading so basically it was crazy guys <laughs> believe me i think i might get a report card sent home i really don't know but and yes my parents know i'm not i wasn't I was, my parent knows my parents know that i wasn't doing great homework just is stressing me out and if you can tell when i to know when i'm stressing out i itch a lot like i itch my whole entire body i scratch my whole entire body I itch my head a lot, I scratch my head a lot, and I do I do a fist like I want to punch someone. So basically, I'm going to just give you an example. It's like this, but harder. When I'm mad, I do this. And when I'm, and when I'm stressed out, I do this. When I'm mad, I do this. And when I'm stressed out, I do this. When I'm mad, I scratch myself. And when I'm stressed out, I scratch myself. When I'm mad, I scratch my head a lot. And when I'm stressed out, I scratch my head a lot. Like... It's, that's what I do. And then when I'm mad, I, like, get like this, like, that's why I'm stressed out, too. But I have this method that I'm going to try that someone gave me, so we'll see how it works out. 
Also, cute and adorable Halloween thing I made. It kind of looks ugly, but it was a just an easy quick drawing that I'm doing that I did do am doing for that I, that I'm giving to someone. Sorry, but yeah. So basically, um, that's it, guys. It's like, and you guys can email. You guys can like, um, Instagram email whatever and share me what your teachers said to your knowledge going when you were in zooms like that that's just what i remember i remember some of half of it it's been a little bit but luckily i don't have to do online schooling it's just right now at my school i hope i get a good if i get bad grades in quarter two i'm doomed i'm doomed it's like it's just so hard right now for me and so Basically, if you guys have any suggestions or anything to help me out in school or for homework, let me know. Um, just let me know your suggestions, and I will definitely try to use them. Um, I'm trying to use the one that I got recently, so yeah. But um, this is literally what the <laughs> teacher said. And online schooling was nice. All of the teachers I had last year are super nice. None of them are rude or mean. They're super nice. And I just, I miss my old school. And because I miss having those teachers and all my friends that are still there. Or part of them that are still there. At this school, I'm not going to say my teachers are bad. It's just, the work is just annoying to me. And I'm just not doing the best right now. So, yeah, but. Please make sure to like, subscribe. Thank you guys for so much for 31 subscribers. Can I have that out to you? <laughs> Papers are falling everywhere. I don't know why. This like paper wants me to do something with it. And I'm not ready to do something with it just yet. But also guys, stay safe because the coronavirus. Just protect yourself. I'm not worried about it. You know, I'm not. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. The coronavirus, no, like I'm not worried about it. I know other people are, but I'm not. But if you're worried about it, whatever. But hope you guys stay safe and don't catch it. I know it's not like a big thing anymore. Like I haven't really heard much about it much, but um, stop the spread <laughs> so we could get schools that so we can have. No mask at schools anymore because my school wears a mask and it is hard. The mask, because my mom lost my mask and the one that my mom has that I'm using, which is her old one, is hard to breathe. It's hard to breathe with that thing on. It is hot in it. It's hard to breathe. It, mine's is way better. Mine's is able to breathe. Like, this is hard to, hardly able to breathe. Like, I can hardly breathe. And in the restrooms, I have to take my mask down because it's hard to breathe with that on. It's also hard to breathe. My other mask is, it's not hard to breathe with my mask, like my mask, that's mine. It's not hard to breathe with that on. I just still take it down in the restroom when I'm using it. So like, I don't have, I can get a break. But my mom's mask that she doesn't use anymore is hard to breathe. It is, oh my God, it's hot. It's hard to breathe. And that's why I wish the mask weren't a thing anymore. But it is still a thing and yeah, but um, tomorrow, uh, let's see what's gonna happen because I have I have homework and classwork to do at school which the and it's in math and the math teacher lets us do the homework in school but let's see what happens because I don't want to have a bad grade on the homework and classwork and I already start off with a bad grade I don't want that I want to at least start off with an A or a B like at least a good grade but bye guys